Welcome. In this video we're going to focus on detecting ransomware activity and specifically using network traffic as a data source. My name is Darren Delaney from Netfort. So what do we mean by network traffic monitoring? Well in my case I'm going to use our own product called LandGuardian. It's connected into a spanner report and the crucial thing is it's getting a copy of data that's going to and from the file server. Now it's also recommended that if you're going to set it up you also monitor your internet connection because that will allow you to detect any strange um, you know, maybe calls from a client to ransomware command and control servers or any strange activity maybe leaving or possibly even entering your network. So I've got it set up, I've got my spam port set up, monitoring my file server and I'm also monitoring my uh, gateway here to the internet. So let's take a look at detecting ransomware activity. I'm now logged on to my LAN Guardian. So the first thing I want to do to focus on ransomware activity is create a report based on known extensions. So I have my list here. Now if you don't have this list, go to network.com, just search for ransomware, you'll find our latest list there. You can find these online as well. Um, it's just a matter of we're using a regular expression here, so just a matter of separating them with the appropriate characters. So I'll copy this, back to my browser, go to all reports, search by file or folder name. In the file folder name here, select uh, reg, reg expression and paste in the list. Run the report, and sure enough, we detect some activity. So what I want to do before I an analyze that is to save that. So go duplicate report. I'm going to call it ransomware extensions. Well, I call it activity. Okay. Save that off. So that's a report I'm definitely interested in, put it on a dashboard, maybe get it once a day. So I have some activity here, I could drill down and find the source, even get the username. So I have the PC here that's responsible. In this case, it's renaming lots of files with the .crypt. Now the second thing I wanna do is maybe get an alert when this thing happens. I don't wanna be running reports all the time. So a simple way to do that is again, we go back to our search profile folder name so what we do know is when ransomware hits us, it's renaming lots and lots of files. So we're going to select action. We're going to go rename, run the report first. There are lots of renames. Click on actions, and we're going to trend this report. And I'm going to call it rename. I'll just call it file renames, for example. Create the trend. Now the next thing we want to do is create an alert when that trend goes above a certain value. So let's take a look at that. So I'm going to click on settings, then go in here under the modules, select trends. Now scroll down, you find your trend. So it won't have any data yet, I've just set it up. But I'm going to click on alarms, I'll give it a name where attack. Now, what we recommend as a starting point is four events per second. Uh, renames are not a common action on file shares. Um, so when you have four a second, even on large networks, that's, that's certainly a sign that something is starting to rename lots of your documents and folders. So it's four events per second, alert goes above that, action, send an email, just put a description here, check for ransomware. and save that. So if we hit four renames per second and immediately get an email and I can take the appropriate action in, in the email there's a link, drill down, find the client, get it off the network, control the problem. So there's two very simple ways. Um, in fact, last thing I'll do on my file shares dashboard here, I'll edit that and I'll drop my new ransomware activity report onto it. Let's move it up to the top. Save that. And it's in progress. But it, I can go to a dashboard now, see any files with that strange extensions, and also get an alert should there be a ransomware atta attack on my network. 